What I want to talk about is one of the easiest indicators to use, one of the most popular indicators to use, and one of the most impactful indicators to use. Now, this indicator that I want to help you guys out and help you guys learn is going to be the RSI, the Relative Strength Index. And I want to teach you guys how predictable it helps you be able to figure out what the next move on these stocks are going to be. What I really want you guys to see is when you can read the RSI the correct way, these stock trades become become very easy and very predictable on how you guys can make money on these plays. Let's talk about the RSI and let's start breaking down how the RSI can work and how you guys can use it to your advantage. So the best thing that we were able to see over the past two days was BTU. BTU, this is a play that has gone on a very nice spike and has dropped off very hard. Now to get a free RSI, just go to stockcharts.com. Stockcharts.com, type in BTU if you want to follow along and all you guys have to do is realize that the RSI is going to tell us what the next move is going to be. So when we take a look on the RSI right here, this is going to be the top indicator on the top of the chart. Now on most charts you bring up on a lot of different websites, the RSI is going to be automatically included on your graph. So what we have here on the RSI is anything that is above a 70. And these are the standards, 70 and of course 30. Now, anything that is above a 70 on the RSI is going to tell you that the stock is overbought. So whenever we go above this red line right here, that is going to be telling us that the stock is currently overbought. Well, what happens when a stock is overbought? Well, when a stock is overbought, that obviously means the stock has a lot of room to fall back on down because the stock is overbought. Just the same exact thing, only opposite when a stock is oversold. What happens when we go near this blue line or underneath this blue line? Well, if a stock is oversold, that means it's a great price to get in on that play because, again, the stock's going to be moving itself back on up. So if you guys are ever confused on which way is this stock going to head next, what way is the stock going to be uh, going to be going over the next week, over the next few weeks, so on and so forth, one of the easiest things that you guys can do is just look at the RSI. And notice, whenever we hit a 70 on the RSI or above a 70, we usually see BTU have a very nice pullback. So let me just get rid of this red line so you guys can see it exactly, but still understand that the 70 is where the stock is going to be overbought. So when we come up to a 70 on the RSI, RSI right here, right here, overbought, overbought, touch of overbought, touch of overbought, touch of overbought, overbought, and overbought. Now let's just again draw a line straight down. Draw a line straight down. What happened when the stock became overbought? You saw a very nice dump. What happened when the stock became overbought? You saw a very nice dump. What happened? Dump, overbought, dump, overbought, dump overbought, big dump, overbought, dump, and again today, overbought to a dump. Look how predictable this can make our shorting. Look how predictable this can make our trading. Whenever we see, again, BTU get overbought, especially looking at the past chart history pattern, it makes it very simple for us and very predictable to be able to make some profit. And that's the best thing about using the RSI. So we can also turn this around as well. As we can see again, whenever a stock is overbought, we can go ahead and we can be able to make some nice money. Well, today I was just able to lock in $17,277 in profit. And that was, of course, on my Tesla trade. I bought in on Tesla at 564, sold Tesla at 589 today. So again, Tesla, why did I buy in and how did I know that this stock was going to be able to go on a very nice climb, go on a very nice move? Well, simple enough, we go over towards the RSI, Tesla. We take a look right here. Let's take a quick little screenshot. Now we already know all about Tesla and we already know all about the RSI about how it works. Anything above a 70 is overbought and anything underneath a 30 is oversold. So when we take a look at this, we know again, we have our blue line and our blue line right here is going to show us when we are considered oversold. Now, when we're ever oversold, that's where we get a very good dip by. So where are we currently at here? We have again, oversold. Let's drop it on down. Guess what happens? That's this day right here. We shot all the way back on up. We have again, we're oversold. Guess what happened? We dropped all the way down. Guess what happened? We shot all the way on up. And now we got oversold. That was again a couple days ago. Guess what happens? We're starting to shoot our way back on up. So how did I know 
that getting in at the start of the day today at around 565 was going to be a great area because I use the relative strength index because that's what the majority of people use. It's one of the go-to most popular indicators, which means it's going to be one of the most impactful indicators. And being able to see the RSI and just knowing simply enough what's overbought and what's oversold is going to help you understand which way the majority of volume is going to move in on that play. When a stock is extremely overbought, there's always going to be people coming over the top that are going to start trying to bring it on down and eventually that wave is going to win and when you get oversold eventually you're going to see buyers move themselves back on in on the play because it's a bargain price on the stock so again using the rsi indicator you guys can make a lot of money be able to make a lot of profit and again it's an awesome easy indicator to be able to predict the stock market